major, major bedhead. Um, it's just about seven o'clock. It's Tuesday morning. I'm just about to do my morning routine. I'm gonna do some meditation. I have a new book I'm reading, just like trying to get all my bits done. I'm actually not working out this morning. I worked out yesterday morning and then I'm going for a run this evening and then I have Pilates again in the morning. Last week I did three Pilates in a row and a run one of the evenings and I was not okay. <laughs> my body was not okay. So we're doing it a bit different this week. Okay, so this is my situation. I always have a blanket. I usually put my legs up on this when I'm meditating, which I don't think you're supposed to do, but I just like to be really comfortable and I think whatever you can get it done, you know is fine whatever way works for you so yeah i have my hot water so i just put in hot water from the kettle i put in a little bit of cold water so i can like drink it a little bit quicker but it doesn't make it cold it just cools it down and then i put in some electrolytes and i drink that full cup before i have breakfast before i do anything like i get up brush my teeth and then this is the next step and i just find it so great for your body like i'm obviously working on my digestive health and just my overall health and I was reading a lot about this. You could also put lemon into it, but I just like to have it plain. But lemon is supposed to be amazing in it as well, but try to get the hot water in before you go for your cold. And then this is the meditation membership I currently have. Sinead, we're kind of like friends online. We've never met or anything, but I really love following her. I'm really into wellness and meditation and all that as well. She lives in Sydney, which is obviously such a health place, and so is New York. So I think I just kind of like bonded with her content when I saw it. But I'm going to do the abundance one this morning. Um, I think she has three of these ones. There's like money, career and abundance all around. So I'm going to do this first one this morning. I think this one is 10 minutes or 11 minutes or something. So I'm going to do that. And then I actually just this is my little planner that I have. So I'll plan out my day and look at what I have to do. I just think when you set yourself up early in the day, it just gives you such a clearer vision. And then I actually just got this. So I know her book is really popular, the orange one, and I never actually got around to reading it. But I listened to a podcast last week and she was promoting this version. I think it's like, what she, I think what she was saying is it's kind of similar to the orange one, but it's like action. So they have like things for you to do in here. And I kind of like that because it's very hard to sit down, like for me anyway, I find it very hard to sit down and journal or like do this kind of work. But when it's in a book and you're reading and then, you know, she's telling you then, okay, now do this prompt or do whatever she's asking you to do. I just find that easier. So I read chapter one before I went to bed last night. So that's the first one done. And I'm on to step two this morning. So I'll read a little bit of that. Then I'll make breakfast and then... We'll be ready to start the day. Okay, breakfast time. I'm still loving my knives from Trisha. They're honestly so good. So I'm just doing my usual egg breakfast. I chop up the spinach, the tomato. I've literally been using her knives for everything. And I have really good news. I was chatting to her on Instagram and she's given me a discount code so I'm going to pop it here on the screen and if you're looking for new knives or just a new set or you just want to give someone a nice present 100% look into these it's an amazing brand she's doing so well and just like everything about them is just brilliant like they're so easy to use and like that's coming from me now who has not that much experience in the kitchen but I'm really like cooking more this year and I'm just like noticing these things that I've never noticed before. My knives were just not good and they're so much better now. I'll show you like all of her, like, I actually have her whole set. I love to like ingredient prep at the weekend and this has just made our lives. Like even Tommy is like, oh my God, these are so much better than the ones we had. And I actually have my own little bundle. So I'm gonna quickly show you what's in that. And if you're looking for new knives or a present for someone or you just wanna like upgrade your your kitchen stuff because I think it's something we forget to do but when we do it we're like okay we should have done this so long ago so let me show you that now okay so I basically have her full set but let me just show you the bundle so I've showed you the chopping knife then there's also in my bundle the carving kit which is so fab for like hosting dinners or just like your own dinners at home such a handy thing to have and this would be a fab house warming present or something or if you're going to someone's house or they just bought a new house because this is kind of something you forget to buy me anyway like when we had thanksgiving dinner 
I didn't have this <laughs> so I think this would be a really good present and then this is the cute little peeler so it comes in this nice box again like just lovely little presents but just great things to have for yourself as well and then this set is the flat edge small knives so there's two of these again a great little handy ones for the kitchen and i love the colors and everything like it's just such a beautiful brand my thing this year is like everything in my life in my daily routine i just want it to feel good and feel like luxurious you know so this is such a great deal guys 133 euro all this would be and then you also get a free knife worth 15 euro as well so yeah definitely have a look on the site there's loads of options these are just like my little ones i wanted to put into a bundle and as you know i'm obsessed with the chopping knife so really really recommend if you have any questions about them let me know i'll leave all the links down below and my discount code and everything and yeah let me know if you get them <laughs> drill three eggs tomato spinach avocado to the eggs or egg whites and then i've actually been adding these on top as well i'll do like one or two tablespoons they're hemp hearts but they're really good for extra protein and omegas i got this big bag in costco i show that to you i put them like you can do them in smoothies you could do them on top of salads on top of eggs i'm not sure if you're supposed to like cook them in the pan while I'm cooking this but I've just been putting them on top kind of raw so hopefully that's okay but it's just good to like add in and like they taste nice I think it adds to it I wish I wasn't sure if it was gonna like ruin my my nice breakfast but it actually makes better I'm just gonna do one like big tablespoon the trick I think for healthy eating is like getting anything good extra in your meals like anything that you can add on to your meals to either add extra protein or migas whether it's fiber just like making your plate as nutritious as possible i think that's the key and another thing breakfast always before coffee i will never ever have coffee before breakfast i did it for years and years and years and i truly think it's added to my stomach and digestive problems like having coffee on an empty stomach is so hard on both your your body but also on your hormones and your cortisol so if you can even if it's just like a banana with almond butter or something just try and always eat before you go for the coffee i know it's hard but i swear it makes such a difference okay hair and makeup done i feel like my concealer is way too light today i used the Armani Silk Foundation. That's what that one looks like on me. Okay, this isn't my best makeup. <laughs> you put the camera on yourself. That's when you really see. And I like I use my usual concealer that I use with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I don't think they're really blending properly together. Let me try and like get that a bit better. Put my Invisalign are back in. I'm already ish for the day i gotta just get dressed now but i actually just got a delivery and i'm gonna try them on straight away i went to a suzanne event last week they invited me and their events are always so good i love suzanne so much and when we were leaving they gave us like a little gift basket it was really cute and they gave us a voucher to get something so you know me I'm straight on the website to see what they have so i just got my delivery and they gave you like this little free bag how cute will that be for the beach and then the voucher i think was for 150 so i ended up getting a pair of white jeans so they're kind of like a creamy white i'm on the search like i actually don't have a pair of white jeans at the moment i got rid of the ones i had because they weren't perfect so i literally need a pair so i'm gonna see what these are like so yeah this is the delivery i don't know if the name of these jeans oh yeah they are it's, this is the name if you can see and then I got E Crew and I got a size 36, so I'll see if they fit me. I find that Suzanne jeans run a little bit small, well, on me anyway. So I got a 36, and then I had a little bit of money left on the voucher, so I figured I'd all just use it all together. And I saw these cute socks, and they'll be nice, like when I wear cream jumpers and stuff, like with my leggings or going to Pilates or whatever. Right, this is how they look. I just styled them with my ballerina flats, my Chanel ballerina flats, and just this jumper. 
they definitely fit good like it's a nice fit they fit nice on the waist um they're like kind of stretchy like you wouldn't be like too confined in them which i like especially in a white jean because i don't know you're wearing in the summer and stuff um i don't know though something i don't know what do you think let me know i can't really decide if i love them or not i'm not sure if they're just like making my legs look really short like i think when you're petite the shape of a jean is so important to like lengthen your legs so i'm not sure if these are the most flattering on me like i want just like kind of an easy casual pair to wear now in the spring and summer but then i don't know if they look great with these flats which i would be wearing them with like do they need to be a little bit thinner at the bottom like i'm looking for a straight leg but maybe they need to be like just a little bit more in here do you know what i mean please tell me in the comments if you have any good white jean recommendations like i just want a nice pair of straight leg white jeans so i'm on the hunt seriously why is getting jeans so hard and so annoying i feel like if i can just find the perfect pair of jeans i'll buy them in like dark light <laughs> medium white like i just i still haven't found them like i do love levi's Maybe I'll try Levi's in like a white jean and I'll see what they're like. But I just really want to get my white jean situation perfected before the summer because it's just such a handy one to have and like you just wear them so much. The plan for the next hour, I'm going to try and do like a power hour of decluttering. You'll see behind me that there's just things everywhere. And if anyone is also like me, I'm a Virgo. I just can't function or think straight if my space is not organized and tidy and i know where things are and everything so i just brought my laptop in i'm gonna keep an eye on my emails while i do this i got caught up pretty early on them this morning so i'm ready now just to have an hour to like get myself organized all right this is what we're working with a mess i've just been like bringing over the makeup that i use the most and like just keeping it in my bag and then like doing my makeup but i need to figure out some sort of makeup storage for here that's not so ugly like everything is just so ugly that i see so i've just been doing this which is even more ugly so i need to figure that out i resisted putting any kind of a desk here for two years basically i didn't want to clutter this area but since i have put this desk here for my makeup it has changed my life i love having a space to sit down so i was thinking i could do like a bigger mirror here like a stand-up one that has like lights on it so at night time it'll be nice to do makeup like this is a work in progress i need to add the rest of my perfumes here but then isn't it really bad to have your perfumes by the window someone told me that before it like ruins the smell of them so i really need to figure out something else with that but i love this gorgeous thing i got it from i think it was mcgee and co it is so gorgeous everyone like always compliments it when they when they see it and i i wasn't sure what to put into it but i think it's cool for my perfumes if i can kind of make it look a bit prettier but for now let's get this tidied up and then this is this is embarrassing this is not organized this is the current makeup drawer situation like why do i have this much makeup like i only use the ones over there day to day like what is all this so i'm gonna spend an, like 20 minutes now just going through all this getting rid of anything i don't want um i think that's maybe gone off and then just organizing all these little storage trays and then we'll have our makeup looking better oh and my best hack if you like need to clean or just like be productive for an hour or whatever it is put on a podcast i honestly think it's better than music like i think it really distracts you but like keeps you kind of focused on what you're doing but you still feel like you're you're learning something as well so i just started listening to um well the skinny confidential podcast is one of my favorites and then brian johnson just did an episode with them he's the guy that's like basically trying to prove and see how we can all live longer like defy aging and I think he I think he was the Venmo owner like we're getting to that part now and then he sold that and now he's like spending all this time and money and research like into how to basically live longer and live a better life and I love that he talks about sleep I'm obsessed with sleep and like I really think that we don't sleep enough as humans um so I'm listening to that while I get this done
Okay, everything is out. This is where we're at. These are my little storage boxes. This all has to fit really neatly in here. Also, this dresser, not gonna lie, working on getting rid of it. I was very into like black furniture and now I'm just not, especially for the bedroom. Like I don't mind my coffee table, the marble one in the sitting room, I love that. But this, I wanna switch out to something a little bit more bright and airy because I think as well, like all my workout gear is here and like most of it's black in the winter and I can really see what things are because the inside of these drawers are back black too. So I think I'll be switching this soon. So I'm not gonna do any like major organization as such. Like everything's pretty organized but I'll be switching it out and hopefully maybe get something a tiny bit wider because I have a little bit of extra space here and a tiny bit on that side. And the more space I can get in New York City, the better. I've talked about this before in another video that I did with Kaylin, but how to know if something is like gone off is if you look at like, for example, this Charlotte Tilbury foundation, there's like this little thing at the bottom that will say, I don't know if it's gonna focus now, but basically it will say, how many months you can have it open for so this one is 18 months and i don't think i have this longer than 18 months so this is still okay but sometimes it will say six months sometimes it will say 12 months and like you'll know yourself how long you've had it or how long you've had it opened um some things i don't know maybe i shouldn't but some things i kind of ignore because i don't know i guess like i've had some eye shadow palettes for two plus years at this stage and they're fine I'm pretty sure but I think when it comes to maybe like foundations like they can start to get kind of you know watery or just not going on as well anymore or something like mascara as well I find that doesn't last very very long it'll dry up and stuff so yeah just keep an eye on the the dates because obviously we don't want to be putting bad stuff onto our skin we want to keep it as fresh as possible and as good as possible so yeah just a little tip oh and sometimes they'll have a date on them i'm embarrassed this is expired in 2022 like erica come on what are you doing i mustn't have done this kind of like proper clear out in way too long so that has to go Okay, and here is the after. We have made so much progress. Everything is like fitting in so nicely. And the best thing about doing this, I think going through your makeup is being like, oh my God, like why don't I use that mascara? Or why don't I bring in other things? I'm very much a creature of habit, which is a good thing and a bad thing, but I, you know, use the same products every day. But like, I think it'd be so nice to actually like, try new ones and switch it up you know i think especially with foundations but i do think with foundations like you need different ones for different seasons or different occasions and I, it's definitely a different situation for me because you know i get so many things from brands and i'm so lucky to be able to try so many products but i really just need to make sure i'm actually trying them sometimes when you shove them into a drawer you kind of forget about them so it's good to go through it and then i have some lipsticks oh my god i was testing out so many things i got rid of a good lot of things actually um but these are some of the lip products that i kept this is a honey love i actually got rid of two empty <laughs> honey love lipsticks it's my favorite so i have a honey love and a yash some glasses these are some brushes i actually need to clean these i'm gonna get a proper cleaning tool and go through them because they're all perfect they just need a good cleaning and it's good to have some spare actually a goal of mine as well this year is to like make a travel makeup bag that i always have ready to go so i could have like a full set of spare brushes in that so that i don't have to like go through all my makeup before i travel somewhere i can just grab the bag so i'll definitely use some of these products for that while they're open so yeah so much better okay so we have the perfumes tidied up we have my simple human mirror i absolutely love this one it's one of those close-up ones and it lights up at night time as well although i might get a bigger one that will like stand i'll see but for now that's perfect then a diffuser some faux flowers and then transferred all my day-to-day -day makeup into this i'll open it up now and show you but i think it just looks really nice up there and it's like prettier than the other bag obviously and for now anyway it'll be like a storage obviously ideally i should have got a desk with drawers i know i know but i didn't like any of them 
at the time when I was like looking for a desk and I was impatient and this one was like super inexpensive. I actually originally bought it, I was going to use it as an office desk out in the living room but then I didn't really like how it looked in there so I moved it in here as a makeup area. So it was never kind of the plan but it's just like it's working now. So I could switch it out and get drawers down the line but honestly this is perfect. Let me open it up now and show you. And honestly like how handy if I had to just like go in a rush somewhere just grab this and I have all my day-to-day -day makeup so I showed you this in my makeup um I showed you this in my bag video but I got this insert or did I show you I can't remember but I ordered this in insert for inside this to like keep it clean because I'm so scared of dirtying it and obviously with like makeup you know things can happen so it's just this little insert that like slides in like this and it fits quite a bit and there's also like a zip pocket in the middle i just googled it i totally forget the name of the brand and it took a while to get here but i'll i'll try and find the link and i'll link it for you in case you have this too or in case you need this for another toiletries bag so i just have my foundations my eye stuff some palettes a few of my go-to brushes um these are my blush section here and yeah, it's probably like too much, honestly. Like I don't use all of these every day. I could probably whittle this down a bit more and then just keep the other bits over in the drawer and like switch them out as I need them or, you know, try new products as I want to try them. But so handy. Really, really happy with, with this situation. So that will stay there and that is so much better. I always, always say this, but you know, some people, they go to therapy or they go for a run or like they i don't know they do something that just like clears their mind for me it's decluttering and tidying i swear to god it's so therapeutic to me like i feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder and i've been putting off doing that for like two weeks now like why didn't i just do it <laughs> like it literally took me an hour to do that and now that's just going to make like my day-to-day -day so much nicer when i'm doing my makeup and everything's organized and tidy and it's just it's a better energy when your things around you are feeling good you know what i mean so if you've been putting off something that will literally take you an hour set some time aside for it like this weekend or whatever or like in the evenings or whenever you have time and you honestly just feel so much better i love it good morning we're just on pilates um i have the scarf back up can't turn with me she's blocking as well for tiktok um we're doing the house seven class just been working from home all morning i had a campaign like a collaboration to shoot and then i've just been on my computer and getting ready for a trip i have coming up next week which i'm really excited about but i have an event this evening um hopefully this will brighten up it's actually getting really dark for some reason but i have an event and this is what i'm wearing and then i'm just meeting a friend from home she's here for work so i just kind of want something that i could easily walk it's from the event to meet her her office is not far from where the event is so it's working out perfect and um, the the event is with peter thomas roth i love their their eye mask things i use them all the time so excited to see i think they have a new launch i think that's what the event is for so i'll bring you with me and i'll show you whatever it is gonna go meet me for now just get a quick bite to eat it's kind of raining but it's also sunny it's such strange weather today we're back in like the winter bits and um, that event was really cool it was it was like you know what it was it's like an episode of ugly becky isn't it huh? like have you ever watched ugly becky ages ago like sometimes these events are like the shows and the movies <laughs> like it was just like so many girls in these like crazy I know, they like crazy so cool outfits and like yeah, I don't know. Like a million designer like a bags. Fashion, New York fashion scene, like, you know? Yeah. It's actually like real life. And sometimes I, I'm like, how are we, how yeah. are we here? <laughs> <laughs> just like i've been here for 
almost three years and it still stops me in the mornings when that sun is coming in it's just my happy place like it really is just my happy place here and the beaches that i love are where i'm just at peace and i think once you find those places it's like you really you notice the difference they make you make to you but anyway i'm just up showered did my skincare i'm gonna make some food now and take all my vitamins all the usual we're going downtown again soon this morning for a Jo Malone event which I'm really excited about I haven't been to one of their events in a while in a couple of years so when I got the invite I was like oh amazing I love Jo Malone I have one of her candles somewhere in the apartment or on my coffee table so that would be nice and there it is too good to even light <laughs> here is my current morning lineup organic seaweed Irish sea moss this is for my hair apparently it's like really really good it has so many minerals irish sea moss you can take it in a gel too i think but i've just been taking the tablets and i'm trying to get my hair just thicker and better then vitamin c and then i put my electrolytes into like my regular water for the day but i also put it into my hot water in the morning so yeah very kind of like simple easy guys i saw this quote last night and i i just really have to share it with you i just think it's so nice if you spend your time chasing butterflies, they'll fly away. But if you spend your time making a beautiful garden, the butterflies will come to you. When you focus on improving you, everything you want will, be will come. We attract based on what we are, not what we want. Like this first part especially. I think that's so true. So, so true. I really believe in like not chasing things too much, which is hard to do sometimes. But I think it's when you're ready and when you're in the right place at the right time and you've worked on what you need to work on the things come to you and i've seen that so much in my life over the years but i just thought it was lovely i love anything to do with butterflies so i think that quote's gonna be one now that i keep on my phone <laughs> i just have to head out to do a quick few jobs before i come back and go downtown so i'll change when i come back but i just need to be comfy so i'm gonna put this on just with a quick with a easy jacket these leggings i need to show you they're from this brand called attire they're irish and i've actually had them for i want to say four years at this stage they are the best leggings they like really like pull you in like cinch you in but not in an uncomfortable way like i like to be able to like my jeans i like to be able to like move around and not feel really like restricted and tight like there's a lovely kind of stretch on them just wanted to show you and i actually have a discount code they're from an irish brand i've worked with them i actually worked with them in 2020 rita the owner she's so lovely everything is made in ireland like it's such a true authentic irish brand and i just love supporting her so we're working together this year and she's given me a 20 percent code so i'll put that on the screen and i'll leave a link down below these are the black katie's and i have some other styles as well that she just sent me recently that i'm going to try out and see which ones i like but the katie's are like my og favorites um they come in a regular and a petite i actually wear the regular just fyi i'm 5'5 five five, so i think under 5'5 five five, maybe do petite but if you're 5'5 five five or over just do the regular there's a little bit of like extra room at the bottom like there's a little bit but it's not a bad like with the socks and stuff it's perfect so yeah just in case you're looking for a new pair of leggings these are, these are 10 out of 10. okay i much prefer my makeup today i've been struggling with the last couple of days but doing that clear out i found this foundation i have tried it before but it's the yves saint laurent new and it's kind of like it kind of gives like a cc cream tinted moisturizer vibe when you're putting it on but look at the lovely coverage like it builds really nicely let me show you in the sun um is that too bright i really really like it really recommend i'm wearing shade hmm i don't know where it says the shade oh new four number four it's called the bare look tint it really gives you that like natural look I mean that clear out was actually the best thing because now I'm like trying all the different products and I'll be able to actually like recommend more to you besides my usual <laughs> that I do all the time like you know I love the It Cosmetic CC Cream but I feel like this would even be nicer now in the summer because it's a bit lighter but it still gives that nice coverage and it blends nicely with my concealer the Armani one wasn't blending with my concealer well during the week I might have to get like a different shade concealer to wear with that one but this works perfect and i have shade number four as i said so i just need to run out now do a few jobs 
then I gotta come back and I think the people in my building have to like come into the apartment in the next hour or so because they're doing something with the pipes so I need to be here when they're, they're coming in so I gotta rush now and then we're heading downtown to a Joe Malone event <laughs> Friday the decluttering and organization continues this week I'm just I guess it's like because it's the start of spring I'm really in like a spring clean mode and I'm just going with it excuse the absolute state of me I still haven't even got into the shower today um okay so I just I'm doing kind of my rail and the bedroom area I'm packing as well because I'm going to Ireland for Easter I'm so excited and we actually might, it's not confirmed, but we might be tagging on another trip, like the two days before I go to Ireland. So I'm just trying to figure things out at the moment. Things are a bit up in the air, but I'm definitely going to be in Ireland for like Easter weekend, the long weekend, which is really exciting. I haven't been home for Easter. Like I can't even remember the last time I was home for Easter. I've, I feel like I've been here recently and then it was like used to be Co Coachella that time. And then I went to Coachella a couple of years during Easter and... I just like, I don't know, I just really, every time Easter comes around in New York, it's the one time of year I get really homesick. So this year I was able to tie in like a job I'm doing at home in Ireland and it worked out the timing perfectly. So I said, you know what, I'm going to stay on then for the long weekend and have a lovely weekend like with my family and stuff. So very excited. I'm going to pack really light because I'm really not going to need much like we're probably going to go out for lunch on Easter Sunday, but besides that, we're probably going to be at home in Kerry, like, going for walks, doing, like, nice, relaxing stuff. So I don't have loads of packing to do, but it's kind of, like, put me in the mood to just, like, organise. So this is how this rail is looking now. I just put all, like, my lighter kind of, like, spring coats on it, my trenches, things like that. Um, Let me pop in a clip. <laughs> of how this was looking before it was just so packed and it just I, I've been meaning to do this for like a week basically and there's just stuff everywhere so I managed to get like everything else into my wardrobes and then this rail is just gonna be for my for my coats honestly not ideal I don't love having it there but we only actually have one coat closet in the entryway and it's not huge and this time of the year obviously we're wearing, wearing coats the whole time but like come when come summertime i will get these all out of here and then i'll have this rail again just for like my new end pieces because i really like to have a rail even like if it's not in your bedroom if it's just somewhere but like it's nice to have a rail like to plan outfits or if you get something new like put it here and then you can like think of outfits around it or say if you want to go through your wardrobe and take out pieces you haven't worn in a while put it on the rail and then it will remind you and like inspire you to kind of style an outfit around that piece so I like having the rail it's not the most aesthetic in the bedroom but at least it like fits into this little corner here and it's not like too in the way and then I put some of my boots down here so that's good progress okay it is a few days later I am all set to go on my trip did some fresh tan last night I just gave myself kind of like a blow dry Hoping this will last me now. Um, I always try and do that before I go somewhere. And then it, I will get like three or four days out of it in fairness. I just did, I blow dried it. I used this new hair dryer that I got actually. I'm going to show it to you when I come back. And then I did the color, wow, I think it's called. You know, it's in the silver bottle. I sprayed that. And I didn't have much luck with that before. But I think it really made a difference today. And then I got the Dyson barrel. And like the barrel that I did just kind of like loose waves. And I just tried to make this front bit a bit voluminous, but it's always a tough one. I need to maybe add like a roller there or something. Um, but yeah, I'm just ready to go. I'm packing pretty light in fairness. I'm just gonna wear my trench going now. And yeah, I'm all set to go. I just wanted to come on, finish this vlog. Hopefully 
you sorry i'm just gonna move it that way because it's like in my face there um hopefully you enjoyed this video this vlog the next one will be on my trip so that'll be coming next week i'll vlog now probably from like tomorrow on and yeah i'll keep you up to date so hopefully you've all had a good week or weekend i'm not sure when this is going to go live exactly if you have any questions leave them down below i always link everything down below i have the two discount codes i mentioned in this video the attire leggings and then trisha sharp by trisha her knives so all those details will be down below and as always i'm always answering in the comments and over on instagram and everything and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i'm so happy with myself for being so consistent with videos and everything this year and i've loads more to come um, once i get back from this trip and yeah i will leave it there so thank you as always for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.